DBMS architecture, refers to the design, of database and its related elements. It describes the connectivity of database, the application program, used to access the database and, the user who manipulates the data. Based on the design, it can be divided, into four types, one tier, two tier, three tier and n tier architecture. In case of one tier architecture, the DBMS is stored on user's system, and can be directly used, using an interface. It is normally used by, database designers, and programmers. So, let us imagine, that you store and manipulate your data on your desktop or laptop, using MySQL, you are using one-tier architecture. In two-tier architecture, the application program, runs on the client side. The database, is stored on the server. An interface called ODBC, connects the application program, and the database on the server. ODBC stands for Object Database Connectivity. It is a translation layer, used to access the database, and the user interface application. Some common examples of two-tier architecture, are the database servers, like Oracle, Sybase and Microsoft SQL Server. Users interact with the data, using client applications or GUI, such as, Visual Basic. Visual C++ or Access. In three-tier architecture, the application program, runs on the client side, and database is stored on the server. However, unlike two-tier, an intermediate layer, called application layer, is stored on a separate server. This layer stores the programs, that access the database, from database server. The application tier, acts as a mediator, that presents the data to the user, in a required form. What most of us don't know, is that even though, the three layers work together, to create a three-tier architecture. Each of the layer, can be operated and managed, individually. Another type of architecture, is N-tier. In case of N-tier or multi-tier architecture, the database. Application and presentation layers, are stored on three or more different tiers. It typically contains three tiers, data tier, middle tier and presentation tier. This kind of architecture, is mostly used in web applications, like e-commerce. In most cases, N-tier architecture begins as a three-tier model. An increase in the amount of data, might lead to situations, where organizations might store, interrelated databases on more than one server. This is known as distributed database, and is managed by distributed database management system. However, as a learner of DBMS, we will use single or one-tier architecture, and store and manipulate, our data on the same system, 